we're going to do 401. I put a hint here at the top. Um, so to find a uh, point of intersection of uh, two functions, use second trace, which is calc, um, and the intersect option. Um, press enter twice to specify the functions y1 and y2 as the functions you want to find the intersection of, then use the arrow keys to move the cursor close to the point of intersection and press enter once more. Okay, you should be used to be using second calc for finding zeros and for finding uh, minimum a maximum for parabolas. Um, so this is just um, one more option and there. It works pretty much the same way. Okay, so here are two functions, uh, x squared plus 3x minus 5 and x minus 2. For the domain, negative 5 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2, where x is a real number. Use the GDC to draw the graphs of these functions and find the coordinates of their points of intersection. Um, so the first part is saying um, use the GDC to graph them. So that's easy enough. The only thing different than what we usually do is we are going to use, um, we're going to graph two functions instead of one. So let's, let's clear some of these um, that we've filled in here. So we'll just clear that one, clear that one, clear that one. Okay, and we're going to type in function f of x, which is x squared plus 3x minus 5. So we'll go x squared plus 3x minus 5. That'll be function 1. And then function 2 is, which is g, we're going to put x minus 2 x minus 2. You remember from last year, x minus 2 is a line. y equals x squared plus 3x minus 5 is a parabola. We know that because there's an x squared. We know this is a line because there's just an x. Now we're going to graph them, and we should see a parabola with a line crossing through it at usually two points. Okay, And uh, so now we just need to know what is the coordinate of this point, and what is the coordinate of this point. So we use, as uh, the hint says, we use second calc to do that. And we're going to go to the intersect option. And then, uh, you know, especially now that there's two intersections, you have to tell it um, which, um, oh, which um, intersection you're talking about. But first of all, we will not have two curves in here, but we're going to intersect two curves. It wants to know which two curves. You know, maybe you might have five curves in here, then it asks you which curves you want, and it's uh, makes question marks makes more sense. If there's only two curves in here, it's just you know, computers are um, are not that smart. They need for you to tell them which curves. So yeah, is the first curve um, the parabola? Yes. Is the second curve the line? Yes. So you say yes to both, or just hit enter, and then you're gonna say okay. Um, what is uh, close to the intersection, and, and it gives you a point that's kind of close, okay, and then you say, yeah, sure, that's close enough, okay, and then it says, oh, well, that intersection is negative 3 comma negative 5, okay, and so you can write that down here, negative 3 comma negative 5, okay, that's the first point, and then we, we're going to repeat that, and we're going to find the second intersection. So we're just going to say, first of all, which two curves we're talking about. Are you talking about y equals x squared plus 3x minus 5? Yeah, we are. Are you talking about y equals x minus 2 also? Yeah, we are. Okay, and then if I put this, it's going to give me the same one as before. Now we want to guess um, something closer to closer to the second intersection so that it will guess it will give me this point instead. So I'm going to say enter. And then it says, hey, this intersection here is 1 comma negative 1. So there's there's two points that are intersections, negative 3, negative 5, and 1, negative 1. So we have figured that out using the GDC, which is the first method they tell us. Okay, uh, If you're good with your GDC and not so good at algebra, this is the best way to figure that out. 
Now it says uh, write down f of x equals g of x and solve it for x. Do you get the same answer as you did for part a? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to write down, they said write down f of x equals g of x. So basically we just substitute those in. So we put f of x and we substitute in x squared plus 3x minus 5. And then for g of x we substitute in x minus 2. And then we set those two equal to each other because when they're equal to each other, that's when the intersections happen. And now we're going to use algebra to try to get this into, um, you know, into like a this kind of form. Once we get it into this form, then we can use the calculator to solve the equation. Okay, so uh, how do we simplify this so that it turns into this? Well, we need to use algebra. We're going to uh, combine this term with this term because these are both x terms. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to subtract my, uh, x from both sides. Subtracting x from both sides, we end up with 2x here. Uh, how are we going to combine the negative 2 with negative 5? We're going to plus 2 to both sides. And then we end up with negative 3 on this side and 0 on this side. So now we're very close to this format, right? We have 0 on the right side and negative 3 here, plus 2x here, and the x squared, we just bring it down, and then we're in this format, right? So let's see. Uh, for as far as a, b, and c go, what's a here? Well, a looks like there's no a, but a is actually 1, right? 1 times x, x squared. So a is 1, b is 2, c is, is it 3? No, it's negative 3, right? Because there's a negative there, okay? So 1, 2, and negative 3. Now we go to, um, we can solve that with uh, the poly SMLT app. So we're going to go to the poly root finder, number one. We're going to say it's a second order equation, two. And then for A2, we're going to put one. And then for two, we're going to, hey, what do you know? We already got it there because that was the same equation that happened to come out in a previous problem. And the roots are negative three and one, or the solutions for x are negative three and one. So that means uh, as a result of this, we found that x is equal to negative three and x is equal to 1. And what do you know? x is negative 3, x is 1. So, um, oops, we, um, we figured out that the GDC is also correct. Okay, we used, we used algebra, and at the very end, we used the PolySMLT app, and we got the same x solution. So, yes, do we get the same as we would get from part A? Yes, we did. Um, now, if we were going to do the same thing for uh, the second one, it basically says uh, you, they give us a new line function. Instead of the one they gave us before, which was x minus 2, now they're going to give us 2x minus 3. And um, uh, we are going to, oh, by the way, they said that we're supposed to do, do the analysis in the domain negative 5 to 2. And you can see that both of our solutions, negative 3 and 1, are within... Uh, that region. So it, in the end, we didn't really have to worry about the domain because both of these solutions happen to be within the domain. Domain. Maybe if they gave us a domain of 0 to 2, then we would throw out this solution, the, the first solution, because it's negative 3. But they said between negative 5 and 2, and both negative 3 and 1 are between negative 5 and 2, so the domain is respected. Okay, so now we're going to do h of x, which is 2x minus 3, and find the intersections between that and um, the uh, quadratic x squared plus 3x minus 5. So if we did that with algebra, we would do here x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 2x minus 3 because we're saying f of x is equal to h of x. So we set those two equal to each other. We use algebra to uh, get it into this form again. So we... Um, since we have 2x minus 3 on this side, we want to subtract 2x from both sides. We want to add 3 to both sides. And then we end up with 0 on this side. And then on this side, we end up with negative 5 plus 3 is plus 2. We have plus 3x minus 2x is x. And so our, uh, our equation is x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And we're going to put that in uh, poly SMLT. Um, let's go back to poly root finder, second order equation, that's fine. And we're going to put in the coefficients, which are 1x squared 
and 1x, and uh, c would be negative 2. And the solutions are negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and 1. And uh, now if we were going to do this with the... Um, now that was algebraically, so we found that x is going to be negative 2 or 1. And negative 2 and 1 are both solutions that are within the domain above, negative 5 to 2, so those are fine. And then we're, now we're going to check graphically. We're going to graph it on the, um, the calculator. Uh, we're going to get out here. Second quit. Y equals. Okay, so now we're going to put in x squared plus x minus 2. x squared plus x minus 2. Okay. And then we're going to put in the h function, which is 2x minus 3. So it's 2x minus 3. And I messed up there. I need to get rid of that first x. Delete. So 2x minus 3 is the second function. Now we're going to graph them. We'll get a parabola with a line going through and crossing, probably at two points. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. It does not touch. That is odd. Now I must have typed something in wrong, right? Because I know that they cross because the solution, according to poly SMLT, was negative 2 and 1. So let's see what I did wrong. So I have x squared plus x minus 2. Now, uh, oh, you know what I did? I'm not supposed to type in, I'm not supposed to type in this, which is, um, you know, f of x equals h of x. It's, 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 uh, it's, I'm not, I need to type in f of x and h of x. I typed in this thing here, which is basically combining f of x and h of x makes no sense. That's why it didn't work out. So actually what I'm going to type in is x squared plus 3x minus 5. I could have just kept it, but I was making a mistake, so I didn't. So I'm going to go x squared plus 3x. I can do an insert here. I go second insert. And then I put a 3 in there. x squared plus 3x minus, and it's 5. So I'm going to go all the way down here, and then I'm going to put a 5 instead. Okay, now it should work. Yeah, so now I cross at two different points. To find out where they cross, I do second calc. And I go down to intersect. And... Uh, the first curve, is it x squared plus 3x minus 5? Yes, it is. And the second curve, is it 2x minus 3? Yes, it is. And uh, so my first guess, I'm going to move it close to the first point, which is about there. And I say enter. And it gives me the first intersection, which would be negative 2 comma negative 7. So it actually gives me the y-coordinate, too. So I don't need to calculate that. And then... Um, now I need to do one more time, second calc, and find the intersection. And I could just press 5, right, because intersect function is 5. And the first curve, is, is it x squared plus 3x minus 5? Yes, it is. Is the second curve 2x minus 3? Yes, it is. And then I go and I move my cursor uh, so that it is close to this point, which is the other intersection. I can't really see exactly what it is, but if I put the point close to it and I hit Enter, it's going to tell me that it is actually 1 comma negative 1. So 1 comma negative 1. So now I have both of those points with the y-coordinates.